Peace. All right, check it out. Damn, I forgot to look at the chart before I did this. I, I, I want to say, though, that the moon didn't already hit Capricorn. I know it was 20 degrees Sagittarius last night around 8 or 9. I'm trying to do the math in my head. 12 hours from now, probably be about 6 or 7 degrees. So it may not hit Capricorn yet. It may still be in Sagittarius. Probably why I'm doing this video. I always do videos on the moon and Sagittarius because I'm a Gemini. Uh, so <laughs> the energy, it, it brings out it brings out my perspective. Sagittarius is your perspective. I'm a Gemini who likes to think, right? The opposite of, of everyday thinking will be the higher aspects of thinking. You understand what I'm saying? The the um, the uh, the philo the yo know, philosophizing mind. You know what I mean? That 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 thought that sums up everything. You know, like people, some people might be like, that's it, just is what it is. Or people, somebody say something like, well, that's how things go. Or you know, shit like that. That's your Sagittarius mind state. See, we have to understand you are every 12, you have all 12 signs within you. You are that will that you are looking at. That is why astrology is so important because everybody's different. Everyone has their own chart to deal with, and nobody's the same. And every, and you know what I'm saying? Even people born on the same day, they got, they may have, if they're not born on the exact same time, see what y'all fail to realize, I mean, what y'all, what you just don't know because you don't know nothing about this. The, the ascendant is the beginning of your first house, right? Excuse me. The, it's called the cusp of your first house. That's the, that's the first, that's the, the beginning degree of whatever your first house is. Your first house is how you present yourself. Um, in the Holy Trinity, you have the sun sign, your moon sign, you have your ascendant. That's the beginning of your first house. It's very important. It's how you, it's, it's how you come off to people. My ascendant is in Libra. 25 degrees, so it's the Leo degree of Libra. So you, you may conceive the lioness aspects in me, but I always try to come like I, like I, I got my shit together. You know, like to come in and bam. You understand what I'm saying? That's the Libra shit. Even though I'm a Gemini and I'm a, I'm erratic, and I, I rarely have my shit together. Like I like I had, I don't think about the, I I pre think about these videos maybe an hour before I do them. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm a Gemini. Talking is easy for me. So, sun being in Leo at 11 degrees. I know it's 10 degrees last night, so I imagine it's 11 now. Uh, and I think the moon's probably like 28 degrees, like I said, something like that. I don't, I ain't gonna say the sub sign, but last night. I tried to uh, take a nap around uh, like eight or nine o'clock. You know, my son took a nap. So I tried to take a nap. I couldn't sleep. I'm in the bed, just my mind just start going. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like all these kind of just different revelations start coming to me and stuff. Like I felt like for for a second there, I felt like I was on some Rain Man shit. I was gonna start just writing stuff, but then I, had, I like I caught myself and I looked at the chart because that's what I always do. Anytime have a particular type of energy just come up out of me i look at the chart okay and that's what i'm trying to get people to ultimately get to because this is the clock of life you feel me so i looked at the chart it was 10 degrees sun was 10 degrees leo 10 degrees leo is the sub sign of the sagittarius sagittarius sub sign of leo all right so the moon was in hold on I said the moon is Sagittarius. The moon's not in Sagittarius. The moon's in Aries. How do I fuck that up? I know, I know how. Because it was 20 degrees Aries last night, which is the Sagittarius sub sign. That's what that's what fucked me up. Apologize. The moon is in Aries. So it may be in Taurus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I remember because Uranus is in Taurus. <laughs> Watch this. Uranus is in Taurus. So I remember when this when it when this shit started hitting me, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, damn, so did the moon hit Taurus? Because I know Uranus is in Taurus. So I looked and the moon was in Aries, 20 degrees, right? Which is the sub sign Sagittarius. Leo, I mean, the sun is 10 degrees Leo, which is a sub sign Sagittarius. So you understand? I had, this, I mean, I didn't have shit. We as a people last night around between 7 and 9 o'clock because the moon changed the signs every degree. And I didn't finish explaining about the ascendant, but I'll get back to it. Um, we had the moon and the sun in different signs but in the same sub sign so that brought a lot of that brought a lot of thinking out of us a lot of greater thinking and perspectives of philosophizing and things of that nature and i and since i'm a metaphysic i study metaphysics 
those types of revelations came to me because that's what I'm into, all right? But the reason why I knew it was Uranus because Sagittarius, I thought, what I, what I got to Sagittarius? Uranus. It's like, oh, what well up? All right, so that's how, that's how I kind of got mixed up with the moon being in Aries, not in Sagittarius. That was my mistake. Apologize. But anyway, it brought, a, it brought out a lot of thinking in me. And... Yeah, last night I started working on this little project, and this this is what the video is ultimately about. I mean, before I go there, let me just finish explaining about the ascendant. The ascendant, right? The ascendant changes literally. Listen to what I'm saying. The ascendant changes a degree, one degree every four to five minutes. Yes. So, somebody born at eight o'clock in the morning, uh, this morning, right? Since the sun is in Leo. 8 o'clock will probably be ascending going to be right around either Leo or Virgo because that's how it works. I ain't, fin I ain't fin explain that. Maybe I will if y'all want me to in a different video. But anyway, uh, the point is this. A person born at 8 o'clock and a person born at 8, 10, right, 10 minutes apart, they ascendance going to be about 2, maybe 3 degrees different. The sub sign of whatever sign it's in, so let's say uh, one person may be 10 degrees Leo, right? Like I say, what's 10 degrees Leo? It's a Sagittarius sub sign. So they're ascending as a Leo that may be a, they may be a, uh, they may present themselves as a Leo that's a philosophizer. Because it's the sub Sagittarius sub sign, you see? But a person born at 18, his sub sign may be Aquarius or Pisces, right? So he's a Leo, so he still, he still presents himself as a proud Leo because that's what the ascending is. But in what way, right? As a Pisces, he don't, he'll, he'll give it all to God. Because Pisces is spiritual beliefs. You know, I'm this motherfucking fly because God made me this way. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Versus the, the Sagittarius sub sign ascendant will be like, or like I, you know, I look I look good because I'm smart as shit. I you know, I you know, I know I know a lot. You, you understand what I'm saying? Shit shit like that. That's to be the, the subtle differences in just minutes. Minutes. Alright? So if if that's the difference in minutes. Then imagine what days or imagine what years or you understand know what I'm saying? Everybody's different, and that's the whole point. And that's what makes God beautiful. You understand know what I'm saying? Like that's why I ain't no two people the exact same, even twins. I, I did a chart for a twin, and he was like, you know what I'm saying? That's I got a twin brother, and we completely different. And I just so happened, because I, I rarely do this, but I just so happened to give him his numerology uh uh, info, info too and that explained the difference between him and his brother you see because the energy of your name shapes you you see when people calling you the same thing all your life that's a particular energy it's life baby this is metaphysics everything is everything everything has a reason nothing is just happening for nothing all right so listen i'm putting together a powerpoint which i've never done before but I'm I'm attempting to expand my expand my 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 uh, teaching tools, or if you will. Like this stuff is so fucking real. I'm mad at myself that I can't explain it right to people. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I like I okay. So this PowerPoint presentation is what I'm doing, and I'm gonna show y'all how to study yourself every single day, every fuck every single minute if you want to. You feel me? At the very least, every single day. But if you really want to start getting down to it, you know what I mean? Literally every minute. You can you can do this. I mean, obviously, there ain't nobody going to be standing there paying attention to themselves every five seconds. But you understand what I'm saying? When, and when any little thing comes up, you can say, hmm, let me look at the chart. And then you say, oh, okay, well, the ascendant is in blah, blah, blah right now. That's probably why I'm feeling like this. But the moon just switched signs. That's probably why I'm feeling like this. You see what I'm saying? And that's the whole point. So, and this, uh, it's, it's going to be called Seven Day Theory. I like that. All right. So, but, you know, I just started, I just had the idea last night when the, when the sun was 10 degrees and the moon was 20 degrees, it kind of popped to me. And I'm like, hmm, that makes a lot of sense. So, you know, to do a PowerPoint, I never, like I said, I never done it before. So, but when I do do it, I have to, I have to, I have to put a price on this because it's taking a lot of work out of me. And like, I hope y'all not angry at a nigga because I'm trying I like <laughs> you know what though like I say a servant is worth his hire this stuff is so goddamn real like I just had a little small revelation just now just walking out just just the way you you everybody's different every day right 
Ain't you different every day? Don't you act differently on a Monday than a Friday? Think about it, no? Of course you do, everybody does, all right? And it's a reason. It's a reason. Why is it called Monday? Why is it called Sunday? Sunday, literally, sun, okay, that's easy. Monday, what, moon, oh, that's easy. Saturday, what, Saturn, oh, that's easy, right? Okay, now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, they have a particular, they, 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 they correspond them to Tuesday, Mars, Wednesday, Mercury, uh, Friday, uh, Thursday, Jupiter, Friday, Venus, all right? I have a particular theory that that is somewhat inaccurate. All right, and that's what my seven day that's what my seven day theory presentation going gonna present, and I'm gonna give you a way where you can take what I'm telling you and use it every single day, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. That's the whole point. Like I'm one of them people that I don't want to just sound like I know what I'm talking about. I don't, I'm not trying to get no views and all that shit. The only reason why I want views is because it's more exposure to information that people can use to help themselves. We like a lot of this shit when we be like, oh, I don't understand why this is like this. I don't know why it's going like that. A lot of that shit is in the stars. And we can figure it out knowing our charts. Just knowing the major seven planets. And that's what this presentation is going to teach you how to study yourself every day. So, you know, I hope y'all can, um, I hope y'all, I, I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know um, the price I'm going to put on it. But, you know, it all come to me when it's supposed to. And I hope y'all can support a brother. And really, but really, though, you really want to do this for yourself. I'm, I mean, look here. I'm going to show and prove. I'm going to show and prove. It ain't even no point. You just, you just try it. Try it and tell me if it, if, it, if it don't work. Tell me if I ain't right. I'm one of them type. I'm going to give you something you can use. You use it and it work for you. If it can't work for you, then don't use it. You know what I'm saying? So, peace and love. I got to get back to the job. You know, I got to earn my, my earn this, this uh, fiat so I can survive out here, you know. But, uh, yeah. Coming. Seven-day theory. It's, 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 it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Peace and love. Take it easy.